Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Johnson Evan, aka EJ here, check it in with another video. This one is on the packing list for OCS. Um, myself being a prior, it was a little bit more expensive than I expected just because I didn't bring my uniforms that I already had uh, on the listed side. So that's something that you could definitely recommend. I definitely recommend that you pack for going to OCS, which is one, if you have your PT gear, which is the old sweatsuit, hoodie, sweatpants, bring that. Then you wanna bring your new PT gear, which is the sweatsuit, track suit, track top, track bottom, bring that. If you have three pairs of the navy um, minion outfit, blue shorts, yellow tops, bring three of those. It'll save you on a lot, and it'll save you a lot of money when you go to OCS. Also bring your running shoes that are broken in that you can use those for any evolutions in OCS. Then I would say, I would suggest bringing type threes. Bring three pair of type threes that you have that are in working condition, no holes, no tears. Biggest thing, because you will be buying uniforms there, and if you already have them, so no need to buy any more. And depending on what season you come in, if you're coming in the fall or the winter, you wanna bring your parka, liner, the whole nine. I would just bring it because you're gonna need it for inspections, so bring, your black parka that goes with this, as well as your camo parka, as well as the liner. If you have the Eisenhower that goes with, as enlisted, uh, with, with your peanut butters, bring that. Your black boots, if you've had those, make sure that they're good to go. Insoles, because if not, you have to get a brand new pair of boots and break those in, and you know how much that sucks, and how, I mean, how fun that is to break in new boots. When you come to OCS or boot camp, do not, I say again, do not bring four or five suitcases like you're going on vacation. You're not. I would say bring one overnight bag, a book bag, hygiene supplies, toothbrush, toothpaste, 360 deodorant, floss, five pair of white socks, five black socks, five pair of boxers. No one cares if they're white, black, purple just five boxers, razors, and if you can, you can bring an electric razor. I didn't know that. You can bring an electric razor, I highly encourage that as well. Bring three sets of towels. White towels, that's fine. No one's gonna go over the top. It's just because you're gonna be using those for your inspections, it needs to be stencil, but that's different. Just bring three washcloths, three white towels. That's it. Also, your um, coyote shirts, I would say bring five of those. Garment bag, if you have a garment bag, bring it. Got it, Your, if you have the old church shoes, as we call them, for your peanut butters, dress shoes, bring those. If you have chloroforms, bring those as well. That way you don't have to buy those for graduation. But the biggest thing that's different is that you wanna be able to just buy the uniforms for OCS which is your dress uniform, your khakis, and dress blues, and dress white, so dress uniforms. That's all you wanna buy, because I ended up spending almost two grand on uniforms, items that I already had, and my recruiter was an enlisted guy, didn't know what to bring, what not to bring, so I'm trying to help you guys set up for success, and that way you don't spend the amount of money I did, so this video's for you. Like I said, this video is just for Prior enlisted, going to OCS, items to bring, uniform items, that way you're not spending extra money, you don't need to. I hope this helps. Leave comments. Uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Talk to you soon.